get and see how the kids in the village, um, you know, how they live, but yet they still come to school with a smile on their face. Yeah. You know, they live in such a, a harsh environment, but they still smile, they still laugh, they still play like kids from anywhere else in the world. Um, and you know, it's just it's it's amazing to come here and see that we're trying to give them a bit a, a chance for a better future, just even by the basics of learning to read and write. And it's probably their smiles that's my favourite. Yeah. About the whole thing, but everything's been truly amazing, helping making the video and yeah, it's just been awesome. And um, you're you've done a few workshops. Yeah. What's been the hardest part of? Workshopping with the kids. Um, the hardest part of workshopping with the kids is, is communicating um, because there's the workshop where our, uh, Elaine and I were doing it by ourselves and we were trying to get the kids to um, to do name. Well, we we started by doing the body parts, head, shoulders, knees, and toes, and they picked that up. And then we wanted them to do name badges for themselves, but it was really hard. We gave them the pen and paper, and they really just didn't understand. But somehow, half an hour later, they all just started doing it anyway. You know, without someone telling them and Kamara what to do. So it's like, they're, they're smart kids. They're very uh, smart. Yeah. Actually, a few of them have come up to me and asked me to ask you a question yeah. on their behalf. And it's, um, where did you get your headband from? Because it looks really good. <laughs> and yeah, it's, a, it's Elaine's because unfortunately my hair keeps falling in my eyes, so she suggested I wear a headband. <laughs> <laughs> they all love it. It's not mine, honest. <laughs> I forgot I was wearing it. <laughs> And would you recommend doing something like this to your friends? Definitely, definitely. But yeah, I would have to tell them it is hard. Coming into the village and, and seeing what they're like is so upsetting. Yeah. Hearing their stories and just the, the hardships yeah. that they go through. No kid should have to endure stuff that these kids endure, not even having clean water. Mm. You know, I think it's a basic human right to have clean drinking water. You know, and I first saw the water, um, and to me at first it was hard thinking, I need to bathe in this, I don't want to bathe in that. Yeah. And then you think, oh boy, wait a minute, these kids drink it. You yeah. know, at least I've got, I've got bottled water to drink. And um, some, some villages have gotten sick, they, they thought someone dropped a, a, some piece of clothing in the uh, well. Do you know who that might be? No comment. <laughs> no I found a dirty singlet, a black one. <laughs> uh, no comment. Can I have it back? <laughs> Alright, I'll let you go. Thanks for that. Thanks, Cookie. Bye.